kind of is like a fix for me now. It may be really painful going through it, but the after effects of it is lovely. I love it. But I totally did swap one needle for the other. If I never met Spencer, like in the Stephen's Green Park that day, would I have ever got into tattooing? Because it was him that got me into it. Fucking don't want to yeah. come up at all, does it? Little hand feels well soft, it does. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's <laughs> soft on my so bum, clean, I reckon. Man. Never been so clean, huh? Ah. Everything I've done since I've come into this country, it, it's never just me. It's always been me and Spencer. Who's it? Who's it? Shima. That's little Jack. That's the latest member of the family, you know? We were both homeless, and uh, I was walking through Stevens Green one day, and we had a, a Henry Lloyd tracksuit on, and he happened to have the same tracksuit on. And that was it, Luke, <laughs> you know? We just get it off from there. Mm. It's mad than you think back of it, actually. I like that tracksuit. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, very nice. Nice that, isn't it, eh? Who's that, Jack? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, he's tired, look. Back then, we didn't appreciate nothing. Like, everyone knows right from wrong, do not they? And, like, we knew we was doing wrong. Jeez, they've done everything wrong. We was both just living day to day, doing whatever we could do to get our drugs, you know? The biggest relationship I ever had was heroin, you know? It was the love of my life, for sure. I used to sit there with a syringe, and I used to say, do you take this to be your lawful wedded wife? Day. We kissed the pride. Jeez, that's a fucking different life anyway. These are the only needles we're getting from now on. When I was getting clean, I kept looking and saying, well, I'm sure if Spencer can do it, I'm sure I can do it as well, you know? Then tattooing come into it, and I suppose that was my new fix, you know? <laughs> I've got a few people that want a few tattoos done, but um, I get bored very easy, like, you know? I'm always finding something new to do. Spencer's just more of a greaser. He ain't that gets his hands dirty, he loves doing it. He'd never do it as a full-time thing the way I do, you know? Definitely not. Let yourself get bored, it's game over, you know? You just have to find something you like doing and just keep at it non-stop, like. You need to turn the dish nine degrees towards the east to find Astra, too. Yeah, well, I always find something to do, you know? The handyman around the gaff, ain't you? Yeah, I'm always Always doing fixing something. things. Yeah. We're always breaking yeah. things, yeah. <laughs> Move it from left to right, not oh, right to left. Yeah, yeah. Right, you ready then? Yeah. <laughs> And leave it for five seconds. They're quick five seconds, them Spence. If you sit back and totally look at us, Luke, there's not a whole lot in common, really, no, is there? Not, no. like, we both like it. Like, we're a bit like chalk and cheese, but but we, we just get on like it's hard to explain. Like We're not going to get married anyway. <laughs> we're not gay, you know? It's like, it's not a, a relationship, it's friendship. <laughs> I've done good since I come to Ireland, you know? I've stayed out of prison, I've stayed out of trouble to a degree. I've met, I met Jeanette. It's nice to have that, Jeanette. Sometimes there is a bit of stickiness in the air when 
Man, genetic evolution, you know. I was always happy for Spencer at the start, you know. After a while, it started to piss me off. I don't see why they're together. I wouldn't be a friend if I didn't say this. I was just in town one day and I was in one of the jurors and I thought, yeah, I'll buy you know, an engagement ring. And I did. Eh? Some kind of stud, ain't I? You've got to keep them happy, ain't you, eh? I didn't actually know that. I did not know Spencer was engaged. That's the God's honest truth now. I did not know that. Shocked, I didn't know that. Really didn't know that. I didn't know. I fucking must have done the whole fucking college noon. No, I wasn't in the college at the time, though. I don't know how it was a fucking about five months ago anyway. A good while ago. Correct, anyway. Yeah, nice one. <laughs> No, I'd never be jealous of Jeanette taking Spencer away from me. If that, I'd be happy because, like, he's going off to settle down. But at the same time, will he be happy? I reckon it's all a bit too fast. Now I'm working in the shop as a tattooist, it's kind of, like, veering a bit away, like, you know what I mean? At times, I sit there and I think, Fuck, he's doing great up in that shop and all that, you know? But then, at the same time, they've got a lot... They've got overheads at the end of every month and, you know, they've got fucking... Yeah, there's a lot to be going on with, isn't it? I'd like the job, though, I would. But, um... It's not happening, is it? There has been a few times where they've had like a bit of a slip and like, I've come into the gaff and they've been sitting there goofing their head off and like, it starts my head off thinking like, hmm, the goof wouldn't go astray. You know what I mean? Like, and I shouldn't even be thinking like that. Like, that's, like, but I always put it down to look. If you have a slip, you'll never tattoo again. I'd move out tomorrow if I could. I reckon I'd feel more comfortable in my own place. Fucking hell, man. That went up into that cloud. We both got different interests as well in life, though, you know? So, obviously, like, fucking, we slowly drift apart a little bit, you know? But we'll always be in touch and be friends. That, like, that's what I'm saying, you know? Uh -huh. Been through a lot together, like so. I'd like to keep in touch anyway, no matter what happens, you know. <laughs>